Hey guys, Rob here. And today I'm going to do a video response to MJ's and Cool Duder Sean C. Phillips' uh, apple surprise with my own uh, take on the recipe, which I'm going to call breakfast apple surprise. So uh, the ingredients that you're going to need are an apple, grits, sausage links, bacon, butter, salt, syrup, and water. Other utensils you'll need, a bowl, measuring cup, tablespoon, spatula, frying pan, frying pan lid, spoon, and a machete. So with all those ingredients in mind, we're gonna go to step one. Uh, you can use any kind of apple that you want. Uh, I'm gonna go with the same yellow type apple that MJ used in his video to keep something constant about it. But we need to do uh, the same thing he did by cutting the top of the apple off. Uh, I don't have a knife on me, so I guess I'll just use this machete. So. Now watch your fingers, because you don't want to slice them off like in a horror movie. Alright, it's not bad. So we'll just use that. So, now we have the top of our apple. We don't need the top anymore. You can eat it if you want. It's actually pretty good. It tastes like a papple to me. Like when I was in school, at the cafeteria, and uh, they would have these yellow apples. I always thought they taste like a cross between an apple and a pear, so I called them a papple. So I think this will work for the recipe pretty good. Next you take your spoon, and uh, we're going to have to carve out again the, uh, the inside of the core. I like making a design first. and Once again, you want to keep the, uh, the, cell, the wall of the apple intact, because it's going to basically act like a, um, like a cup. For, for your further ingredients. Make sure you get all of the, the hard stuff because I don't think you really want to eat that. Carve it out nice and good. And you got yourself an apple cup. You got a good enough uh, space now for our next ingredient, which is going to be the uh, instant grits, which I'm going to show you how to make right now. Okay. For the uh, grits portion of the recipe, uh, we're going to use the Quaker Quick Grits. Uh, very easy, I've been making them ever since I was a child. Uh, but we're going to go with the actual uh, proportions that are on the back of the container. You can follow them easily. What it calls for is three tablespoons of the Quick Instant Grits. And three-fourths cup water. Now, uh, you could do this on stove top in a pot, but I'm going to make this pretty quick because the overall uh, process is pretty long for the breakfast apple surprise. So this is going to be uh, put in the microwave for three and a half, four minutes. Just keep an eye on it. It's going to overbubble and you'll probably have to wipe out your microwave, but once it cools down, uh, then you can put in your butter and your salt as much as like that you like the taste of because I like a lot of it. Ah. Once the grits are done, be very careful. You might need uh, some oven mitts or whatever because the bowl tends to heat up too. But it's going to be very liquidy, soup-like. Uh, you're just going to let it sit for a couple of minutes until it starts to uh, absorb the moisture. And then uh, we'll put in the proper amounts of salt and butter to whatever your taste buds like. So now the, uh, the grits are slightly solidified because of the liquid. So you can see they, they have that grits... Uh, spongy texture to them and I'm gonna add some butter and some salt until it tastes good. Mm -hmm. Now the butter melts from the heat of the grits because uh, it still just came out of the microwave only minutes ago. And I put salt and stuff in it and then uh, ready to move on to the next step of the recipe. So let's add this to the apple. Okay, now that you have seen how to make the grits, uh, we are going to add the grits to the apple. And like I said, these are pretty hot, so uh, this should be interesting with the cold apple. Fill it up there. Yep. Pack it in there, but make sure it doesn't overflow too much, because there's going to be some more ingredients going into this thing. Mm. 
The next ingredient that we're going to add is uh, my favorite because what's breakfast without bacon and sausage? Uh, I have it already ready, but uh, I'll show you real quick for those who don't know how to cook bacon or sausage. Um, Allie is going to help uh, show us how to do that real quick, and then we're going to move on to the next step. All right, we're putting in some oil in this pan. Let it get hot. Once the oil is hot, you just throw in this nasty piece of bacon. Pushing the oil up on the bacon, gets the top cooked. Sizzling. Repeat this process with your sausage links. Thank you for putting it in. Place a clear lid on the pan to prevent the oil from splashing everywhere. Mmm, didn't that look good? So now we're going to take the finished bacon, it's still hot, and we're going to crumble it up in little pieces. Yep, I like lots of bacon on my stuff, so, and I'm really going to put it in there so it's all the way down to the bottom. Mmm. Yeah. So get that in there good. I use a whole piece of bacon. Whole piece of bacon. And like how you saw before with Allie cooking, we also cooked up some sausage slings. So I'm going to break apart the sausage and put it in here as well. Really get it down in there because I want it to be in a lot of the bites. It's going to be pretty good. And for the final ingredient, now that we have our apple cup filled with our buttery salty grits, uh, put in with a slice of bacon and a uh, sausage um, link, we're going to top it with Ego Original Syrup. Now you can do this with maple syrup, even king syrup if you really like that rich taste. But uh, I'm going to go with the Ego uh, Original Syrup. So you can warm this up if you want, but I think the bacon and all and the grits are hot enough. So I'm going to go with a little bit of a temperature change in my mouth. So let's see how this, uh, this goes on. Yeah, really put it on there. It's going to be sticky, but it's going to be good. Okay, so there you have it. There is our uh, breakfast apple surprise. And uh, let's see how it goes. Oh, it's dripping. It's actually really good. Like the grits and the sausage and the bacon really go together well. And the syrup makes me um, feel like I'm eating pancakes. So, and who doesn't eat an apple with their breakfast? It's a little sticky. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little sticky. But boy, is it good. So you guys should go out there and try this. And I agree with MJ and Cool Duder, Sean C. Phillips. Send in your own recipes, make your own video responses, and keep this going. Because I think we could get some uh, really good recipes out of this. Enjoy.